Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do a balloon smash. And to be honest, this heart balloon was the only one that I had. My daughter gave it to me. It was from Valentine's Day. So another exciting point is this is a black canvas from Arteza. And I just got these, so this is my first time trying them out. Super duper cool. And I'm going to start by putting some black paint down on the canvas. So this black is Artist Loft Flow Acrylics mixed with Flow Troll and water. I'm just going to go ahead and get this spread around really quickly. All right, excellent. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a few little puddles on here, different colors. I'm going to start with some white. You can do this with any colors. Um, you can also do it in the reverse where you build a puddle off of your canvas and then dip it onto your canvas. I'll kind of show you what I mean in a second. But first, um, so that white is Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. Then here I have a metallic blue, which is Arteza Metallic. Once again, all colors are mixed with flow trawl and water. Every single one of these is mixed the same. Okay, and then I have a green. And I have a really yellow gold. This one is actually a mix between, oh, that has some flow trawl in the lid. Um, this is a mix between Arteza Bronze and then Artist Loft Yellow. So it's kind of my own creation. And I think lastly, I'm going to go with a little bit of purple. And then top it off with just a dollop more of white. All right, so there are no specific rules for this technique, but basically you're gonna take your balloon and you're gonna go ahead and dip it into your puddle. And you just need to do this gently. Press down, pull up, okay? And it's going to mix your colors in a certain way. Now at this stage, you can either wipe off your balloon or you can go ahead and dip it again. So I'm going to do kind of a series of dips here, and I'm leaning towards mostly covering this. So now this is pretty black. I'm going to just turn it over to a different spot of the balloon and do some more. All right, turning it over again. Once again, like I said, you can wipe it off in between if you want, then your colors will be less mixed. But there are no rules, guys. You can do it however you want. And you kind of should get at this point what I mean when I say you can put the um, paint off the canvas first and then onto the canvas. So that is another method. I'm just going to do this a little bit more. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. So... I think there's a few spots that I'm actually going to just kind of blow on just to add a little bit more interest and get a few spots kind of more where I want. Also not required. And of course, be careful when you do this, you get lightheaded.
There we go. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna leave it. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and let this sit here for a little bit. We'll see anything else that may or may not develop. And then we'll come back for our close up. All right, we're back. Not too much has changed. Let's go ahead and do our close up. So here's the lower right hand corner. Coming up to the upper right hand corner. I personally love how this looks. It's definitely wild and funky, which is my style. <laughs> I know that this is not everybody's style, but I love it. Down to the lower left hand corner. You can see we've got some uh, pretty cool edges even. And there you go. So yeah, to me this kind of looks like a funky abstract field of flowers or something. <laughs> Um, but anyways, let me know what you think. And uh, the balloon smash is just a super fun, simple technique. You should try it if you haven't. Try it different ways. Try it where you dip it and then wipe it off and then dip it again. Try it where you, you know, put paint on the side of the canvas and dip it in that, then put it on the canvas. Try all kinds of things. Try it with different background colors or with no background color. Super fun technique. Uh, if you like the black canvases and these metallic paints, check out Arteza. Link will be in the description. Um, also, using these silicone mats and these really cool squeeze bottles. Those are from Lowly Bethe. So just check out the description. We'll have all the links there for you for, you know, the different products that I'm using. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.